And I'm here to play Go, but before that, as per usual, I will warm up with 10 problems. Let's choose the 7K level here. That seems to be a little, like, tiny little bit challenging, but still. Okay, so this will be like an Atari Atari thing, I think. Little squeezily squeeze. All right, let's get out of here. And, oh, wow. Yeah, they really make them harder at 7Q. Okay, I think I can just play here, and that will be a golden chicken standing on one leg once I go here. Um, continuously, if I play here. All right. A little bit tricky. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like a squeeze. I cut and I hunt here and connect and I connect. Still he connects, I connect, he connects, I Atari, he cannot connect because I will cut over here. So it just takes a long time for him to connect back. He has a lot of places where he needs to connect. So he doesn't have time. Aha. Uh -huh. So here, because we have only got three liberties, we need to be fast. Um, so probably it's going to be here. And continuously grabbing liberties off of our opponent so that they don't have more liberties than us. Okay, this is why to play. There's one move that can connect both groups, and it's this diagonal move. Creates two tigers' mouths. Mm-hmm. This looks like we wedge. They cannot cut. They have to Atari from underneath. We Atari. They connect. We throw in. And then they won't have enough liberties. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's a life and death problem. They kind of have an eye shape here. Mm -hmm. So the feeling for me is jump. If I jump and he cuts, I can Atari. And it won't be an eye here. And if he connects, I can connect. And um, yeah, he won't be able to make the second eye in that case either. Okay, yeah, we've done this before on the channel. I remember they and doing this uh, recently. So we cannot play here or here. We have to play this one to connect. Then everything is good. Fine and dandy. Aha, this is another golden chicken standing on one leg. Atari and go down. He can't approach from either side. And here, if we play the tiger, he's going to throw in and squeeze. So we have to be more humble and simply connect. And then we will be faster. Okay, fantastic. We finished 10 7K problems. They are, they are a good challenging uh, level. Dosiria in here with the comment, it's early stream. Yeah, it's, uh, what is it, 10.20 in the morning here uh, in Sweden on a Sunday morning. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good or bad time to stream, but uh, I imagine some people are having a lazy morning in Europe and just uh, happy to watch some Go content. I believe also maybe in the US, it's not that strange of a time. I mean, Sunday, people have time all Sunday, so it depends on, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they don't have time on Sunday, they do other stuff. Oh, they played the high, the 5-4, a little bit rare these days. So we play double 3-4 then, and now they play even higher move, wow. It's a little bit unusual. Um, okay, I don't know. I will imagine this is fine. Let's do it. Take a corner. It's nice to see someone do some unusual stuff. Okay, my feeling here is jump. It starts to look a little bit like 3 4 Joseki. So here we connect. Yeah. Now they push, they didn't jump. Normally players will jump. Um, so it probably means we can push and cut here. But also, the speed at which he plays his moves make me feel like I'm being tricked somehow. His Hane is quite strong. I need to, to live also in the corner, obviously. My feeling is I should play here now. Uh, I'm hesitant to play this Atari. Even in most fighting scenarios, you really love to play this move. But in this kind of case, I would then be uh, selling my opportunity of playing this attach. In fact, playing this attach could be a decent choice now as well, I guess. 
Uh, I'm also hesitant to block here and force him to become stronger. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Okay, let's play here. I don't know what, what is the real real way to play, but this is the way I, I play now to not die immediately. Um, mm -hmm. So he may shape by going out instead of connecting or tiger, threatening to ladder this stone. Um, but I believe this is Sente anyway, so we can go here. On the inside, black is dying. But I think if white goes to try to kill black, then white's playing with fire because outside is very weak. But it means that white adding a move here, kind of Sente, we can say. Uh, because he can kill my corner, um, which means I should uh, live now, I think. But I'm wondering if I should play here first or not, if it's a good exchange or not. Probably not really necessary, right? So let's live first. I mean, this peep can also be a good move. You can peep and then play here. Mm, such things happen sometimes. But let's live first and think about it later. So I think the result it seems okay for black, considering it was white's corner. Um, black took it, obviously not with a lot of points, but white also didn't get any points. Outside, of course, white has two positions, which is usually good, but they are split. So, and they are not really super thick on either side. So I think probably kind of even. I'm not so sure though. Oh, I just noticed my hair is a big mess. <laughs> wow, crazy. Okay. Um, the KMI is a very suspect shape. Normally, when you are soft like this, you cannot play KMI. This, kind of, this move is going to come along um, at some point. But uh, right now, I cannot do that. I need to jump out, I think. So let me jump out first. <clears throat> okay, he made the shape on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Still, I feel like I ought to take care of my center group first. Um, this move, if he blocks, I wedge. He Atari, I Atari, he connects. I Atari, he connects. I run out, he jumps. He has too many liberties here for me to, to really fight. So. Um, feeling is diagonal, jump. This diagonal, this Kema, this attach. Attach seems bad though, because helping him a lot to become stronger. So let's go with the feeling, first feeling. Can't be so bad. Thank you to Hiti Novna for the follow. We're one follower away from our follower goal this week. That's nice. Okay, he plays here, very pragmatic way of play. Uh, AI usually will say you always want to attack this stone from, from this side. So now he's forcing me to defend the corner. Usually is not recommended, but it's pragmatic because he made a shape here. Not the most uh, efficient shape though, because I can still attach here and, and cut this stone off or get a very thick shape in the center. Okay. So now we have approach, the upside. Yeah. I think I'll play the high one here. A little bit more imposing. Now, instinct for me is to invade the upper side. So 3 3 is popular. But this is also a okay move, especially when the right side is. I mean, the upper side is valuable, and this can be a good move as well. Mm. I think 3-3 three, three is not bad. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. I actually don't really know exactly Joseki, but I think probably attach and tiger and or even here first and then here and then 
Double Hane is fine, right? Nine, eight, seven. Touch first is probably better. Unless he can Atari under now and connect Lemmy out or something like this, but I don't think so. So this variation, he gets a good position on the top, but his left side gets undercut. So this now really can be attacked. Mm. Which made me a little bit confused why he just leaves it. I feel like attacking right away with this, this peep. But okay, let's answer here first then. Jump. So I usually like to kick and jump because anyway, he's interested in building the top. So now while he's getting a good position on the right side, it's true, the, the top will now have a lot less potential. So I think that's also okay. Okay, this is a long uh, extension. So instinct for me is to play some type of cut and have a fight with him. So my corner may shrink a lot, uh, but on the other hand, his two stones are in danger. And now I have some friends over here. So there's like a little corridor of blacks here. So he needs to be quite careful, I think. Uh, can we even peep and block outside? I don't think so. Let's just block here. Looks normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, he finds a way to move out by attaching. Uh, but similarly to what I was saying earlier, he is ruining his potential on the top. I mean, not only that, but after I build strength here, I can even invade. So There's a price to pay for him. Okay, after this exchange, I feel like I want to move these stones. Now if Hane can still cut, right? Um, right, or he can wedge at that time. Aha, uh -huh. he can wedge at that time. Yeah, Nine. but still, it still looks important to, Six. Five. Four. to play here because otherwise he's going to cap and it's going to be very painful. painful. My two groups will be split and for now, yeah, the wedge is coming. But I thought he would hunt first and then wedge. If I cut. Hunt first is like asking move. He wedge me now is a bit strange timing. Now I feel like attaching over here. Um, to try to attack this one and this one at the same time. Yeah, I think it's kind of off timing to wedge here because yes you add a move it's very huge here but you right now you're so busy over here the fight is going on over here usually in those scenarios it's uh, not a, a great idea to tenuki but i guess he was just trying to get center from here i should mention that i didn't have my morning coffee yet i'm having it so i am a little bit slow Ah, uh, you know, Sunday morning sometimes. Ah, uh, very, very slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. He wants to fight this way. Okay, that makes sense. Actually. How do I fight here? Empty triangle? <laughs> okay. Atari. Yeah, I will Atari. So Atari, if you run, I will block here. It's not so easy for you to get a good shape. Seems white is trying to somehow be flexible. Yeah, connect together. Uh, but he looks broken. A lot of white shapes, a lot of white shape look broken. But first, I, I feel like I need to become thick. Should I capture? Should I extend? Should I Atari? Should I Atari looks bad, right? Helping him if I cannot cut. So capture is a very, very solid idea. Nine, eight, extend seven, is also. Six, five, four, three, two, Let's capture my first instinct. So this leaves behind a lot of uh, different cuts, right? Wedge here, this elephant's eye, this cut here, this Atari here. 
and uh, my group is more or less alive. So it's kind of broken for white. Of course, he can try to, to break my shape as well in the center, try to split me, play some move around here, attack these three stones, attack these three, four stones. But yeah, it looks dangerous for him. Okay, so now this Atari and just eat here looks very, very attractive to me. Uh, is he saying he can live after that or something? Uh, I mean, this Atari even, maybe. Nine, <laughs> eight, seven, Let's go with the instinct. So of course he can he can attack these three stones. It's dangerous, but if I eat this, it's very very clean. A lot of points for him to eat these three stones would not be clean for sure. Yeah. Um, But he will try. <laughs> okay, first thing I will try to do is here. Atari and connect here now. Then his group also a little bit weak. If he overcommits to these three stones, I might consider giving them by Atari here later and, and uh, get this move. Maybe kick even, it's better. Because there's wedge. And uh, after that, you know, it's a trade. I got this, he got this, but I also break the top. So... We'll see, but it's very open here still. So not so easy for him to eat them, I guess, is my thinking. So still this honey, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, annoying. My shape is a bit annoying here. Yeah, I can't, I can't go out. Uh, I'm gonna get cut, probably. I mean, in this area I can maybe play here, but I probably need to just connect first. And just allow him that. Wow, this movie is a bit surprised to me, like not fixing outside. So he's saying like I cannot escape anyway, something like that. I don't know if I agree with him. Mm, at this moment, I, I don't feel like giving them up. I cannot give like this much, right? So let's fight then. Yeah, maybe the tail or something can be given, but not the whole thing. So at least now I have the opportunity to aim for him being cut as well. Yeah. Uh, but this is looking quite scary. For everybody involved. Aha, uh -huh, like this. Wow, really? Oh, wow. He's gonna let me have that flower and still try to cut me or kill me. That's a bit <laughs> scary. If he managed to kill me now, it will be epic for him. Okay, but uh, we will just keep pushing in. I mean, I guess it's a pretty good variation for him because he already gave me a lot of profit, so maybe he cannot just compromise. So if I go here, he's going to turn and I will really have no eye shape whatsoever. And if I play this move, so maybe I'll play here a little bit humbly so I can make eye here later. He really is not in the mood to give me anything today. <laughs> scary, scary, very scary. Okay, so I have a half eye here. But I need to have two eyes. I think if I play here, my eye shape is pretty decent. I may give him the three stones if he peep here now. But he's probably gonna... Because I think I can make an eye here on the side as well, right? So I really must survive here. I cannot die. Yoyomi now starts. <laughs> Dosere is shocked, cannot believe what they are seeing. 
Uh, yeah, this player is like fearless. They just go fight, 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 fight. Yeah. Okay. So now I cannot make eye shape on the bottom. Is it good timing to kick here now? <laughs> Why would it be? Why wouldn't it be? Here we jump. But I think I will tr just Eight, seven. try to make eye shape like this. <sighs> well, well, well. Nine, eight, seven. Oh my goodness, this guy is too much. Really? This guy is crazy. I got Tengen at least. Tengen is very valuable. Ah, now you want to start cutting the tail. Now you want to compromise. Suddenly. Mm-hmm. I see. Can he really seal me in here? I mean, it looks so broken. Nine, eight, seven, okay, I, I will agree to compromise. I already got so much profit here and I also broke a lot of his top. So if you eat uh, this much, it's not so bad. But you will probably attack corner. Okay, you didn't. You go for... For this one. Yeah, he cannot Atari if I play here, he can then I will squeeze him a lot. But he doesn't have to, as his two cuts after that. I guess Nine. so. But now it's the time Seven. for me to try to sacrifice in a more efficient way. Seven, six. Yeah, this movie is a bit annoying because um, anyway he will go down here so this shape in the corner will not be amazing anyway Nine, unless there is some eight, seven, six, five, so if I go four, here three, let's two. fix Maybe I should have just jumped instead. Oh, really? Like this? Okay. <laughs> He's always offering strange trades. So I could come back here now. Could be bigger than this one. Probably isn't, though. I will assume it's not. Even a little bit scary if he can make two eyes here or some annoying stuff like that. But I don't think so, no. Yeah, so now he finally gets this one. Yeah, very annoying, of course. We can strike here to strike a little bit of fear in our enemy's heart because there is some more cuts to be aimed at, I believe. Really? What the heck? This is center, right? Oh, maybe it isn't. Uh huh. It isn't center, maybe. Nine, eight, oh. seven, six, five, hmm. four, three. Okay. If it isn't, then I don't know. Then. It's a very sus shape here for, for white. It's a, a lot of Aji. 
but maybe nothing direct. Nine. Yeah, nothing, nothing specific right away. Then it's kind of closer. Now I need to try to play a good end game. But still, I want to attack over here, obviously. So let's go with this one. It's a bit annoying. If he can bamboo, he has this peep here and he can cut me, right? <laughs> so I have to add a move after he bamboos. Okay, but he didn't bamboo. There's also a potential cut here. Right, so he bamboos, I think, is uh, simply asente. I'm not totally mistaken. I mean, maybe I should play here first. Gain a liberty. Then I need to fix my shape. So which way? Here. This means this is center for him, but it's not such a big deal. This is bigger for points. Yeah, I like I can fly in here, threatening to play here or something in that vein. Yeah. Okay, so finally come to a little bit of a lull in the action. I think maybe here is good to break his shape further. And there's still clearly a weakness around here, but it's not so easy to activate it in a practical manner. Aha, uh -huh. just like that. He wants to live first and threaten to cut me. Yeah, so I will jump. Very, very big to play around here, isn't it? <laughs> he has some test suji, I think, some stuff. Huh, huh, huh. I can hunt it, right? Seven, six, five. Oh, maybe there's no point in this if I if he's already alive here. Yeah, he just cuts and then I didn't get anything. I'm just giving him points, right? Oh, what am I thinking about? I think it, I thought if I cut him, yeah, but actually he's alive, right? Mm. Nine, eight, hmm. seven, six, five. That's a bit bad, bad variation, I guess. It's like I'm helping him to connect with points. But there's some Aji here still, but it's not very amazing one. He also has Atari here and like some stuff here as well. Yeah, this one is probably me helping him. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I play here, It looks like I get to nine, eight, seven. I couldn't see clearly. I'm just gonna play here first. I maybe can need two stones in the end game or something if I play here. No, it's not not the case. There's nothing here. Sad times. Okay, now the. Yeah, okay, this looks big first. Now I just give him more points needlessly, I think. Still think black is not bad, though, for the overall picture. Um, especially, I think this will be sent, or maybe there's something even bigger. 
I'm really tempted to play here to fix the corner once and for all, but I think this is good. This is also big, right? Hmm, this is big. It's big. It's hard for me to judge. This one is um, kind of comes with a threat of diagonal and cut, right? So something like that. So he might be be scared about it. Okay, here we go. This is huge, huge place. Of course, kind of center for him. Is it? Yeah, okay. That could be the game turning. I don't know. But I what what about here? What if I diagonal he goes down, he still has connect under. This is the problem. Nine. I didn't read clearly. Yeah, this is so huge. Nine, eight, seven, six. <sighs> I couldn't read it clearly, but I think there may be something. But another problem here is that Atari, 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 and go down here. I only have two liberties. <sighs> That's clearly very scary. I may lose everything here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ah, then that's very bad exchange. Why am I playing like this? I should have blocked here directly then instead of that exchange. Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. Very, very bad exchange, right? Lose maybe. Five points there. <laughs> Idiotic. Idiotic. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Ah, so bad. I should just block here if that one. I didn't re realize until later that he can actually cut me that way and eat me that way. So that's a very, 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 very bad exchange. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Nothing can be done about it. Yeah, so bad. Lose a lot from it. Okay, anyway. Mm, let's not give up. Just because we played some bad moves. It's normal, it's normal, it happens. Continue play end game. Still back, I think, might be winning. Because this was big, but I should have played it without this exchange. That's all. That's. Uh. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, mm. six, five, Sad times. four, three. Yeah, this is big, of course. Then I will use. Uh, maybe there is move here. Could there be? If you cut me and I clamp. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go here anyways. Normal. Let's play normal style. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a weird end game move, but I think it's okay this one.
Okay, okay, okay. I feel like playing around here is quite big, yeah? And this one also is big. Couldn't figure out. This one also is big. It's about eight points. This one will be bigger. Yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hmm. Maybe it's bigger. Okay, I think still black is not bad. Yeah, this is of course big, and I'm planning to give him the stone. Oh, he can cut. Oh, if he can cut. Oh, no. We didn't consider that. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's Ko, plus he, he will have to force me to jump here. It's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit uncomfortable, though, to say the least. So, but uh, because he gives me like this move in the process and still a call, so I got this one, connect here, and then this move for the call of these stones, then it's still eh, kind of similar point wise. But I actually forgot about this cut, so I, and I didn't have to connect this way. So let's use this as code thread, quote unquote. But here I'm really wondering about the shape. Because uh, there is a lot of weird IG, right? Can he can jump here. He can just put here, he can cut first and Nine, then put here. Eight, seven, I will six, uh, five, probably just four. compromise. Let him have those four stones in center. Just be happy with this. Because I captured this one, I jumped here, I captured this one. Yeah, you can eat these stones, it's fine, it doesn't matter. You know. That's the way I'm thinking in this kind of scenario anyway. Okay, finally he captured them. Now there is not many question marks left about the position. Now it's just a matter of playing the biggest end games. Don't know where they are though. How about this move? This move is uh, maybe it's like either three points anti center or it's one, two, three, four, five uh, points. Gotte, something like that. But what is bigger than that? Probably nothing. This connect is big, obviously. One, two. Nine, eight, this seven, one is bigger. Six, five, four. Okay, seems comfortable lead for black, even though I made an unnecessary mistake over here. Ah, this one is center for white. Maybe. Couldn't see clearly. What is this now? There is more trouble. Really? No, you have to play here first. Or here or something. If you cut, it just Atari, Atari, Atari. Hmm. Four, three, 
two, one. Two Fioyomi's left. Ah, really? The guy wants to try something. Okay. He's gonna cut here or something? No, but he cannot cut here because I can just Atari, 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 right? Okay, he resides. Uh, some weird stuff in this game, but I would say the most regretful for me was here. Oh, so stupid. I didn't really read that he can Atari and capture these stones, so I need this move first. If I play directly here, if he tanukis, then maybe this can be a good move. Because I read something about the liberties. Even he has a connection to Suji. Oh, I wish I can show you guys. But uh, anyway. I don't think we need to review the game, maybe, because, yeah, he kind of had a bad position early here, and he went for a do-or-die attack and failed. And so that's the game. That's the story of this game, basically. So we don't need to maybe review this one. So anyway, let's get another game. Before that, I'll take a quick break to grab uh, some more coffee, my second cup. And in meanwhile, I'll let you guys watch Ray Nyway play you know, the legend, the myth. Okay, not much to watch because she finished the game already. <laughs> okay, what I want, let you watch. I mean, I'm only taking a, like a, one, a 30 seconds break, but still. Okay, we'll let you watch this one. The And the final position of uh, Guza Ha versus Shi <laughs> I'll be back in 30 seconds. I, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Apologies for my little interruption. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get another game. Yeah, last matching. Oh, oh, do 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 do. Hey, our opponents call Suma. Don't even know what it means. Suma Yuan Yuan Ji Do. I don't know. Um, okay, suddenly I forgot to think and I didn't play here, so now I can't play my micro Chinese. <laughs> so let's play normal style instead. Okay, okay, we're playing again. We're playing. Good, good, good. Mm, yeah, I like this one. This is kind of like Kobayashi opening that was very popular in the 1900s. Um, but with some modification, we could even play here. It's not like my favorite move, but maybe it's fun to try something that we don't usually play. Yeah, I remember, what's his name? Polish player. Ah. He was... Uh, one of the top players a long time ago. He's still not bad, but I forgot his name. Now he played this against me. It was quite annoying. So when they play here, we end up in a familiar shape. Uh, this is the old way that this shape happened. But the, as you guys can start to recognize, it becomes like the three three and the mi shi fei dao, the the flying knife of uh, mi mi <laughs> Yeah, this this kind of variation. Okay, so when when he didn't cut here, 
I know AI often tells to, to connect here. Yeah. Um, and let white capture this stone because the efficiency of which he captures it is not high. So, because he already connect on the inside and then here we have like all matter of forcing, we can, we can squeeze here. Uh, even now we can consider because if you don't answer, then I can push out and then squeeze you even more. So either I will play here or here. This is also maybe a good move here. Uh, yeah, it also looks good. Or I will play on the top. Oh, but I like this move a lot. Let's go. It looks good to me. Yeah, so we can keep squeezing or we can tenuki now. I think uh, this exchange already not bad. So he cannot jump anymore. Mm, yeah, so let's tenuki. And I guess we should make it uh, high micro Chinese out of uh, respect for our snowy mountain concept. <laughs> So interesting, interesting. Aha, uh -huh, so he goes straight into the pincer. Okay, then I will kick you. Now it just looks like I pincered him when he approached and he played an okay. Yeah. Quite normal. But in the fight, I have a lot of prospects here on the top. Oh, I know Hane is one option here. Extend is another one. Uh, but I think extend is simpler and uh, nothing to complain. I mean, I'm getting the fourth, fourth line territory and this weakness here is kind of disappearing. Normally, the Kema, instead of jump, the weakness is this, aim, white can aim this cut. But after you make this exchange, the cut sort of become less and less interesting. It can still be a thing, though, if white plays over here or here or something, and this can still be a move. But... Okay, so white is settling like uh, swiftly, but while giving me basically territory here. And I would say this is very small shape, so maybe not that alive yet. So he wants to add a move. But do I want to add a move too? Kind of. So. Uh, let me think for a moment. So this place is big, clearly, because I can expand my potential here and uh, keep some pressure on his group. This one or this one, but I think this should be this one in that case. But if I don't play there, I should play somewhere big, right? Like here or here or here or over here. But then the question is, will he jump here? And uh, do I care if he does that? If he jumps here, he can still not hurt this territory, right? So that will be Gotha for him. And if that's Gotha for him, then maybe it's too slow. So probably I prefer to go for a big point now. Yeah, let's, let's build the right side. Let's play constructively. <laughs> The 458th player in Europe. Is that really my rating, my ranking? Am I am I really 458? I think I'm a little bit higher than that. <laughs> I'm not sure. It could be actually. Uh, I will I will check out the rankings later. I think I'm in top 200 at least. I think. <laughs> uh, Dramatic effect, yes, dramatic effect. It's a good number, for sure. Okay, we get to this point. Normally, black jumps here, it's very solid, but we can also play here. Then there can a fight can develop on the right side. My feeling is with the support of these stones, I kind of welcome a fight. So let me push here. Mm -hmm. 
So he, uh, on the flip side of that, he doesn't want to have a fight, I guess. So he's trying to compromise again. Um, but then Black's territory is quite efficient on the right side. Here I'm still thinking, though, if I should hunt it. Let him cut, and then Atari, he goes down, I jump, let's have a fight. But really, I don't really mind this kind of territory. I'm 120th? Okay, thank you, Dosiri. 120th? Okay. So top 200. I bet you if I win, like, if I play one good tournament, I can get into the top 100. <laughs> I, I can imagine it's pretty tight in that, in that uh, range there. Like the... Okay, so still he wants to split. Yeah. So maybe I should have jumped to make it this harder for him to split. But this one a little bit awkward because later he wants to peep, then still like an elephant's jump here. Nine, eight, okay, seven. but I will jump out. I will say it's a slightly strange thing to push here first and then invade, right? Why not just invade then? Like this push made me stronger, it made it harder for him to attack me. Yeah, okay. Can I even poke the elephant's eye right now? Then he will push, and then here, and then push again, and then he will cut. Seven, six, five, no. four. I'm not so into that prospect, actually. Alessandro passes number 100 with 2,505. I have 2,494. Okay, so that's nine gore different. No, 11 gore different. So, yeah, exactly. Okay, that may be not one good tournament. You need, like, two good tournaments. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Hmm. So when we see this kind of fight, I think this is a good fighting move, but it's very like complicated. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So I will play more peaceful. Um, this is typical. As soon as I said I have something else to discuss in chat, my my attention to the play goes down, and I feel. So if I cap here, it's not that easy for him to connect, I guess. So capping looks sweet. Nine. So kind of controlling style in the center. Aha! Uh -huh, so he wants to settle just quickly here. Yeah, it makes sense, but. I will play here anyway, and this is not center for eye shape anyway. Maybe I will even peep here. I think it's quite important place for both of our thickness. Uh huh. Finally, like this. So if I go back here, he's not yet alive, but I will have no problem with my thickness. So I've made myself thick in center. Actually, he's still not alive. <laughs> you could kill him locally if he was sealed in. Like we, maybe this is center, for instance, right? Uh, but I don't want to just guess at that, and I don't want to spend a biomi to read on it. So I will Eight, just play another big place, just invade here. I think these exchanges were okay for black. Obviously, the right side potential became much smaller. I mean, disappeared here, but so did his bottom potential. But in the in the process, I got center control basically. So this, that's quite valuable as we continue the fight. So territory wise, I think white has a bit more ter secure territory. White has a corner here, corner here. This side plus Komi. I only have one corner. And this territory here, but considering the control that I have in the center and the thickness, I think black is not bad. That's the way I judge the position right now. So he obviously wants to attack the two stones. Should I jump here or should I attach here? My feeling is this attach is a bit tighter.
And then immediately he invades here. Wow. Why didn't I consider that? <laughs> it's very dangerous invasion. Yeah, I was considering to play here actually, but Okay, what what variation is he gonna play? Just bump? No, like this? Really? <laughs> Can I play empty triangle here? No, I will play here, connect. I mean that's huge profit that he can get here, obviously. Um, but if he takes Gotha and I get Hana here, that's very big as well. Hmm. Then depends on the center potential. Huh? Jump strikes me as a very surprising concept. Well, first of all, I could just push and cut, right? And eat two stalls. But I don't know if that's the best. I think I'd rather just go down here. Eight, seven. Making it so that his whole group is under attack. And that his corner can be diminished a lot by this jump. And even the eye shape of the corner. All right, now I'm really quite surprised by the way the white is playing. I think I will jump into the corner because I can diagonal next and have eye shape for myself. And he doesn't have eye shape. And of course, corner is always valuable. So he answers. Now this next push is also valuable, but less center-ish. So now I think about sac uh, splitting him here. So can I play this move? Hmm. He will turn, then I will. I think I want to jump in that Nine, case. Eight, then he can seven, try to... Six, five, four, yeah, so eight. let's be a bit more chill about it because we already got a lot of profit by breaking his corner and sente is quite valuable as i said before to play this hane even now it's kind of feels like sente to connect here right or or tiger Doesn't it? If I peep here, are you sure you're alive? Yeah, so let's connect. That's right, he needs to answer. Now I still want to, to play here because there is some Aji like push and cut here, so on and so forth. So is this bigger or is it bigger to jump into the center first? This is kind of a key point too, because if you block the corner, it's too small. I will came out here and grab the center. So let's jump here. So I think now it's still kind of balanced, but maybe black is happier because black has much more potential in the center and much more control. In the late stages of middle game, that will make a big difference. Aha, so he peep here. Okay, that's his right. By the way, do I still have a move here? Mm, I kind of... Uh, oh, just as... Oh, maybe here. <laughs> Actually, he will go out. So I should go here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, maybe I didn't, shouldn't go either one of them, but I needed a my Biomi. So he still, will, he will go down here. Yeah. So it's either I get this incentive or I get this plus this incentive. That might have been better, but similar anyway. Okay, here, I mean, if I peep here and then peep here, what? It's kind of broken, isn't it? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Uh, what? It feels like he, he broke down here, the shape.
So if I Atari here, if I Atari under, then his inside shape, it will live. But if I play here a little bit nicer, because then you connect, I block the corner. You have to live in another way. Plus, I, you don't have any eye shape outside. Six, Let's play this one. And the block the corner. So it's not that he can't live, it's just that he will to live while losing the corner and now his outside group is really quite pitiful, isn't it? Hmm. B13 was bigger trouble. Yeah, no, B13 I thought similar. Okay, he resigned here. Oh, is it that he cannot live? <laughs> I didn't even consider. <laughs> Wait, he can live though, right? Wait. Huh? Oh, he cannot even live. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, anyway, it's terrible for white. Someone said B13 would have been better. Yeah, I mean, so what I was thinking, if I play B13, right? Then he's going to play stick anyway. He's going to play here anyway, right? And there is no way for him to cut him. If I cut him, he's going to cut me. So I have to come back out. Then he still connects under. So then the only difference is, do I prefer to have these two stones or this stone? You know, so it's like, I don't know, it's similar, I guess. And there's Phil Pips, Tao, good morning. But I mean, uh, definitely, B13 might be better because I get not only these two stones, I also get this stone. Right? So it's like I get these three stones. It's a pretty solid shape, actually. So it's probably better. It is still probably better to play here. Um, but it's not like a big, big trouble for him. He's not, he, not going to get cut. But then I was thinking if I can play here to, to actually cut him. But then I think he can stand up like this. And then again, I cannot really cut him. So, yeah. but yeah, uh, probably this is still better, actually. Yeah. Or there is some Tetsuji that I'm not considering. Okay, those two games, pretty smooth. Mm -hmm, pretty smooth. Let's go with another one. Start to play. Um, bro, this player, 53 and 7. Okay, but they have done very well as six dan, but seven dan they have five uh, wins and four losses. So maybe they are just basically, yeah, reasonably strong seven dan. So they have a lot of wins because they were working up to seven dan. That is uh, fair. Okay, let's play our classic uh, white opening. Uh huh. Let's do this one. Wait for this one and do the kick. <laughs> Always do that. I wonder for how long I will be playing this kick. Is it going to be months, years, decades? Probably, probably I should stop. Now everybody suddenly knows this Josek. <laughs> Need to find some new, new, new meta here. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe he doesn't know Josek. Otherwise, he wouldn't think here. Oh! <laughs> really? Actually, this is an interesting concept because basically my shape will be very ugly. If I block, then Atari, and then he gets a very nice shape. Hmm. So I should play here, I guess. And he's gonna go to corner. I don't think this is bad for white. It's probably good, <laughs> but it's uh, not that clear, right? Should I push one more time here? My feeling is I should uh, add a move to to make shape here or here or maybe no, probably here or here. But maybe push once, uh, nice, or I can just leave it.
Now let's let's go here. That's more active. Then it kind of gives us some info. Let's play here then to have a bit more potential on top. Wow, invade here. If I kick, you stand up. And I came up, the fight will be interesting. This is sent, uh, the next move almost sent there. Uh, jumping is also an idea. That feels like something like Artem would play. But I fear that if I jump here, he's gonna jump and cross cut. It's gonna be easy for black to make shape. So the thing I don't like about the kick and the fly is that here the potential is not so so efficient, I guess, because he can push here or fly here, and it's more like a weak shape. So I almost would, yeah, would prefer not to try to make territory here, but rather use it as a light shape. Maybe this invasion is quite good, right? Oh. The jump looks kind of smallish as well, right? Very inefficient. So let's stick with this. Aha! Even jump here. Yeah, that also makes sense, of course. In that case, maybe white prefer to connect together. Sort of a compromise. Yeah, let's do it. It's big to play honey here, of course. Uh, sometimes this exchange already is good. Now I can jump or came actually. Because normally he wants to go down, but now he, he's like a step slower in that process. If I crawl here, still feels good though. Maybe he will jump and then he will try to make some weird stuff happen. This is big. This is big. It's all big. Let's, let's do this. That way we can be safer. So I think a lot of times, instead of jumping, Hanna first and then jump makes sense so that white cannot connect so easily. Oh, thank you to YongYong2000 for the follow. We reached our follower goal of 40, 48. <laughs> For 480 for this uh, week. That's awesome. Getting closer to that 500. Yeah, this attach, I was just now saying about this attach. But I think I can just play here, right? You don't dare to hunt. I will attack you from this way, right? And I push through. Ah, oh, but maybe. No. So what are you gonna do? If you wedge, I wanna do this one. A bit of weird shape, to be honest. <laughs> ah, yo. I like a nickname like Young Young Two Thousand. You know, I remember Two Thousand would be the thing that people added after a product name or something to make it sound like really like modern or in the future like the robo duster 2000 but nowadays when you see a nickname with 2000 in it you wonder like maybe they were born in 2000 you know <laughs> correct okay <laughs> yeah so things change over time. So I think I will Atari here, and if you connect, I will cut. But maybe that's not so good, actually. hi -yo, what have I gotten myself Yoni into? Now starts. Ah, but yeah, I think it, it is good. Okay, so maybe you'll connect now and let me flower. And then you also get thick here. But still, I'm quite happy. Uh, not 
that's happy. But if you connect and I cut and you Atari, I connect and you try to Atari here, I will cut this one. Exactly. And if you connect, then I will push through here. You cannot have both. This is the point. Yeah, he's gonna Atari here probably. But then I cut. So still I'm all all connected. Aha. Uh -huh. Connecting here. Connecting here is kind of an interesting asking move because he's asking, do I want to capture? Do I want to go into corner? Do I want to push here? <laughs> I want to go to corner, I think. Nine, eight, I think corner is really seven, nice. Here. Six, five, four, three, uh, two, one. Okay, let's capture then because then that stops him from grabbing that corner and also so makes it so I can hunt here if he tries to turn. But it might be a bit slow. Hmm. I could have also not played any of them and just connected here or Tenuki or something. But I think the situation is not bad for White. White got the corner now. Basically, it's White's corner. And uh, connected together everything on the top. And here, yeah, the problem is I still don't want to hunt right. Uh, but if I had gone out, I cannot even jump. So still, it's helpful to have capture here. But if I had gone out and he turned, I can make the empty triangle, actually. Right? Hmm. Okay. But I will jump now. Eight, so this is the, the virtue of capture rather than go to corner. Obviously, if you go to corner, you have more territory in the corner. He has less territory here. But then your shape outside is easier to be bullied. Yeah. So, so pros and cons with both ideas. Okay, so generally when they don't peep here, we should make the tiger's mouth. And in this case, it seems quite attractive because we keep him separated, uh, which is important here, I think. Okay, finally this move. Sometimes we can wedge. This time though, is it better than here? Because if I play here, he gets this very beautiful shape. Last play is fine. I, I realize if he captures here in Sente, it's not really Sente, but then I don't really have Atari on the two stones. Then if I don't have Atari on the two stones, he might go out here after I wedge. So I prefer to Hane and let him just force me to make this into territory. Um, ah, yeah, just go out is better than to play here, clearly. Because he doesn't want to force me to secure my shape. He wants to leave this cut potential. Mm. Okay, you push then. Well, even now you can cut actually. Um, but do I just connect here then? Or like Tiger? Uh, to be safer. Okay, let's do that. Still, I'm not dissatisfied with the, the result after everything said and done. I got a lot of territory on the top, plus corner. Uh, and sente. And I will jump here, I think, to come out, force him to answer. And then maybe attach over here. I like attach. It's tight. I could also play here or here, I think. But... The Aji here is kind of minimal, right? Not much you can do here. It's a little bit big to come out here, but I think, yeah, let's play attack. She looks good. Thank you, El Foro, for the follow. Thank you for El Foro. Mm -hmm. mm. Aha. Uh -huh. This way. He will Atari here. He will connect. Yeah, normal. 
So he will get the right side. I will get position on the bottom. And um, center. Now, the black efficiency is not low here. It's pretty good. This is a little bit further away than the Chinese style opening. But I thought because he had a lot of control to the right side, I'm quite happy with this kind of variation where I get thicker. So I could play here, I could play here, I could play over here, depend on the styles. Eight, seven, six, five. Let's just play here. So I think white's still leading in terms of pure points. And in terms of thickness, indeed, the black is slightly thicker, I think, but not that much because of the presence of the white stone here. So I, I still feel quite happy for white. So here I'm going to pincer him, but I will kick him first to make him heavy and then pincer. So I know the modern way a lot of players like to pincer the close one. To be honest, I haven't quite understood exactly all the reasons why this close pincer is more popular than the far pincers. Like when I started playing Go, everyone's saying you should play a two space, you know, that way he cannot attack your stone easily. But this is kind of the shape. Uh, maybe I will learn over time. But it has a relationship, for instance, with this Hane, for instance. If I Hane and connect, like, this isn't a great position for Pip. Like, even now I can consider. Normally, this one we want to answer. Otherwise, attach here is very big, and he can grab control of the left side. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four. So I will answer. And now he can 3-3 three, three maybe. But then the presence of the stone really will make a huge difference because I can hunt here. Something like that. Yoyomi now starts. It'd be fun to go like uh, to practice go with some pros or something and, and just learn all those stuff. It'd be fun to go to a go school. <laughs> But I think I shouldn't do that because uh, that would be not be fair to other players in Europe. If I go to go school, I will be unbeatable. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. So now he wants to attack this Seven, this one. Six, so let's be humble here. Just grabbed profit. Someone said. Just forward, always, forward, always. Uh huh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that too. Like the AI is just like very like active, active. Okay, so here now that he's thicker, I don't mind making him even more thick. So we have a compromise. He gets a nice position. I get a nice position, but I have the profit here on the left side. Nice, juicy corner. So in this scenario, we both have two corners, but. I have a one corner that is huge. And then we both have very big sides as well. Can I play here? This is my first idea, but now I'm starting to second guess myself. Like there could be a problem somehow. Nine, eight, seven, not really, I don't six, think. Five. Not really dangerous. Or maybe cross cut would have been cooler. Mm hmm Nine, eight, seven. Right, so he pulls back. And now I should also add a move, I guess. So I could add here to be 100% alive. I could add here to avoid future. I can add here. This one looks fine. There was nothing wrong with it. 100% alive. Now it's almost get to end game. But okay, he has a lot of potential in center. So this is the big question mark. If he can use this influence to catch up in territory. Yeah. Because if we only look at secure territory, I am sure white is leading. White has a lot more. Yeah, but here he here we go. He's already starting to, to mess around here. I 
you like doing this, because Hanen, double Hanen will be, yeah, unacceptable, I think for black. So that's my center. So why not just continue then, break through? Because here he cannot really do anything super dangerous. If he goes down, I can cut him on the outside. If he connects, I can connect on the inside. If he plays this being, I can cross cut here. I mean, not cut, I can just jump here and cut him. And so I'm too thick to worry, really. So he plays this one. A little bit, a little bit. Uh... Okay, maybe I answer. I need to stay connected anyway. So, Nine. so one way to stay connected. But is there like a weird one like this jump or something? But then I can still jump and cut him. So no problem. Yeah. Again, depends on the very the. How much can he build here? When the score estimator thinks that he only has territory up to here, Eight, seven, he thinks black is leading. Six, so that is very likely that black will get territory three. here. <laughs> so we will have to try our best to reduce here. Reduce a lot. So I defend like this because I think it's tighter for territory. Okay. Okay. Here we go. How much can we reduce? It's a bit scary. <laughs> Let's play here first. And if I play somewhere right here, I don't think he will be able to kill that. But this peep is his right as well. Maybe here then it's more reasonable. Then he close. He's gonna get a lot of territory. A lot of territory. Maybe I played too kindly here with the Han and Connect. I should have fought. I should have fought at that time. Yeah. I was too relaxed. Sugadintas 2 is following me. How many account does Ernestus have? <laughs> Someone says, I fear you need to go Choche Kun on this to win. Really? Yeah, I think I played way too soft this hand and connect, right? And just live here on the second row like this. I was acting like I'm weak here, but I'm not weak, actually. I should have fought. I was the one attacking him. So that is a problem. I don't think I need to go Chochikun. I just need to go... Pretty good endgame. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, now he wants to do this. I mean, there is some potential for cut and stuff here. Eight, seven, six, five. Let's play here. Sort of asking move. No matter how you play, there's going to be some peeps left. Unless you play like this solid connect, of course. Yeah. But then I connect, and this is a good exchange for me. I'm breaking in. I think it's a good exchange anyway. But now I could be directly just trying to save, or could I be a bit more active? Mm. Nine. Eight. Yeah, let's get a little active on it. EGF one Q called the Chochikun. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he's gonna just push maybe and try to grab the territory. I mean, it's very big for him to play here and keep me separated. And I, my territory will go away. Um, but such is life when you play Go. You can't have everything. You need to compromise sometimes.
Sugadintas, yes, I reached the follow goal, yeah, even without the help of Sugadintas too, even though, of course, it is always helpful with more followers, then we can. Now our next idea here should be to try to get to 500 followers, which seems to be a somewhat magical number that we can try to reach. I don't know what I'm doing now, because now I'm just like getting cut anyway. <laughs> uh, getting cut anyway. But if I can grab Sente, I can start wrecking the territory here. I think it's pretty close. But I'm definitely getting playing so softly here. Like, that's unnecessary. We're practicing. Why are we playing so softly in a practice game anyway? You know. Okay, let's go here. It's a bit hard for him to move this stone as well in a good way. Five hundred followers. That sounds uh, pretty good. What are you practicing for? No, well, I, what I meant was that uh, playing playing online is is practice, right? So we don't have to like we can we can take some risk and just get the practice in in by fighting. You know? um, but also, yeah, you could say I'm warming up because. The day after tomorrow, I'll be going to Dubrovnik, and then we have Pergo, European Pergo Championships coming up. So if I have Nays, looks nice. Okay, I just talk too much now, so I'm going to leave one on Bioyomi. If I have Nays, he jumps. I, can't, I have to give these stones. That like, seems unnecessarily big. I'm just going to do this and jump. So I didn't need to spend a bit on me. Oh yeah, I have to remember now, I cannot play in the last two seconds or whatever, because I lost on time last stream. Even I play, literally came up on the board when there's two seconds left, still I lost on time. Yes, WAGC as well. Yes, WAGC is coming next month. And more even in also, Nine. next month is the Swedish Championships. Seven. So I have like a string of tournaments. Pergo, European Pergo Championships, then... Swedish Championships, and then World Amateur Go Championships. So it's good that I'm getting practice in here. Aha, so still he doesn't want to let me have an easy compromise. Aha, uh -huh. very annoying. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, ah, okay, That's, we might have to give him these stones. Even then he doesn't want to. Evil guy. Blah. So I don't have any of the ladders or anything like that. Nine, eight, seven, six. Just don't know. To play here to ask a question. What kind of forcing move am I going to have around here? He's going to capture probably. Locally, I cannot Atari, Atari push Atari again, maybe. Nine. Looks a bit scary for him, I think. <laughs> Play cut here first also to think more. I see some very funny variation here. Nine. It's kind of a broken Nine. ladder thing. Six, five, four. So if I play here and he goes here, I can Atari, 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 and a double Atari here. <laughs> that looks like a funny variation, doesn't it? But yeah, he can just capture, let me capture, and then still attack me. Atari H10 first, is that better? Yeah, 
Okay, what's this? I don't think so. If I target H10 for here, run, and then I play here, I cannot ladder him, right? Or am I missing some other TSOG? Okay, anyway. But uh, he's still attacking me here. This is a bit annoying, but I don't think he will kill me. I have one eye, and I have a lot of friends here, and I can run here. So Then it will be successful for White. White saved the stones here, and this became very small. Yeah. But if I Atari at H10 first, and he runs, and then I push, Eight. then he goes down here. Six, How do I five, capture four, three, the stones? You know what I mean? One. So I understand uh, Two, if, I, if I can do that, of course, he's more heavy that way, but I couldn't find a way. So I just extend it out. Very funny squeeze. <laughs> So this squeeze is what I'm looking at when I'm when I'm cutting over here the second row and then this Atari. So he shouldn't connect, maybe he should capture, but then I have some other gain. Nine, eight, seven, mm -hmm. six, five, four, three. Then in a dream world I'm gonna attack this whole dragon here. Okay, this is still a little bit scary. Well, I still don't have two eyes and I don't have a direct connect. Oh, this is ladder though, right? Bow, 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 bow. Oh yeah, so I can connect like this. Oh, unless he makes the empty triangle cut. Nine, eight, <laughs> well, maybe he will. Seven. Yet another funny kind of ladder. But this one was like a broken ladder thing. This is also like a, a ladder that turns around. Nine. It feels like doing seven Q problems as warm up is more efficient than doing nine Q <laughs> problems. Somehow it, it's different. Um, I just feel slightly sharper. Okay, so finally we or out. I want to play here, honestly. That looks a bit greedy, but I don't really think it's dangerous. Profit-wise, it can be huge. If I can eat this stone or, you know, this, this group is not even alive 100%. And of course, these two stones are not alive. This looks nice. Ah, oh, H10, then J9, then squeeze. Oh, okay, I need to think about what he's talking about. One day in the future, I will understand. Okay, what happens here? Nine, eight. Of course, I need to monitor my life status here, but he needs to monitor his group's life status as well. Here, he's not capturing my three stones, is he? But he's squeezing them. But he's not squeezing them with a great shape. His shape is kind of awkward as well. But okay, he's al he's alive over here now. He's gonna like jump or something. The thing is, this stone is heavy if he wants to kill me because he, I, if I eat it, I have two eyes. So he has to. So he can't really fight. He can't kill me anyway. Seven. Hmm. Peep. Peep is the option, but uh, push is normal for me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, so push. I think now I'm leading, so I should just uh, solidify the lead and win. At the end of the day, he cut me, but I'm alive on both sides. He got very little territory here and very little territory here. Nine. 
So as far as the end game is concerned, I can play such a move, for instance. I can Tenoki play a big move like this one, this one, do this one. But okay, if I Tenoki, he's gonna start using this center, right? So let's not Tenoki. This should be connected here. If he does use this center. So it feels small for me to just Atari here, even though that means I'm alive, but then he can come first to here, it's big later. So I think I should try to mm, get territory. Yeah, e7 for sure. He connects, I connect. Or maybe I push first, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so finally he may be forcing me to connect things anyway. <laughs> Play like something like this. This would be so boss if I could. Uh, let's let's live first. Okay, he resides. All right. Yeah, but I really regret when he invaded here. I started to play softly. I thought I was doing very well, so I was just play softly. But probably I should fight. I mean, I've added a move over here. I should just jump and fight. It's not easy for him to kill these three stones. And if he kills them in a way where I these three stones, then it's like a trade. But it's not easy for him to do, I think. But actually, maybe a most pragmatic way, instead of playing the close pincer, I was talking about it, I should just, you know, two space extension, let's say. Then I'm alive, 100%, and he's still in trouble, he will not have a big center potential. But it might be a more reasonable way to play, like uh, when he's so thick, right? So then locally, in the bottom area, the fight shouldn't be that bad. But he's so thick here, so it is it is dangerous for me to fight if he can eat these stones. So maybe maybe that's another way to play as well. Okay, and then I got a bit lucky here. I don't know, he did something strange like... Ah, oh yeah, there was this. So someone was saying, Prince Elena was talking about some squeeze here. Uh, right here, Atari here. Then he runs. And then I don't know <laughs> how to play. I didn't understand. Because if he runs, I cannot play here, then he's gonna come out. And then nothing. Right? But what do you mean? You play Atari, he run, and then I directly play Broken Ladder. That's what you are saying. But then after he runs, I play Atari, he doesn't run again, he captures, right? So we squeeze, and then we can push, then he jumps. He wouldn't run that second time, right, to here, to make the Broken. He would just capture, right? I don't really understand. We squeeze so we feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good if I give him all this territory and just connect here. I think the game is better then, right? Because here I also feel good because now he has to connect on like Dama point or whatever, and then I get to capture. But if in the squeeze variation, in the end of the day, I will not get, he will get a lot of territory here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay. Uh, both ways can win, maybe. Mm. Yeah, of course, squeeze. If it works, squeeze is nice, but I didn't see it working. Still doesn't. I still don't see it working. I mean, all I see is that we can connect, but uh, because after the squeeze, we push, you need to run to here, right? And then, then he will jump to here, to over here. Then all of this is territory. Sorry for those people who are following the stream and cannot see what we are talking about. 
Yeah, I, I wish I can easily take it up. When you are 8, then there's like a game review variation that's easy to, for you to see. Then I can just click there. But for some reason, when you're 7, then you don't get to do game review. <laughs> Sorry, weird. You can only do game analysis, but they won't pop up on Twitch streaming. Anyway. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that was a decent, decent fight again. Um, okay. That one could be worthwhile to review, but... Uh, attack J3 after. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe there is a good way to fight after this quiz that I didn't see. But I, I thought the game was very pragmatic, like simple. Um, okay. So, let's play another game. I'll do a quick uh, quick, quick break again. Uh, yep. Just to drink water, stretch a little bit. And for those of you who are watching and sitting down, I recommend do a quick stretch as well. It's very good for you, for your physical and mental health. Ayo. And we're back. Okay. Let's get another game. So far, I have three games in a row. Good, good results. Ah, this player is pretty strong. 14 wins, 6 losses. Only 4 wins away from 8 10. Woof, we gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we get to play our high micro Chinese. Could hear the bones creaking. Yeah, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> um, all right, finally, we get to play the high micro Chinese. Well, in the previous one, we kind of did too. So this is like the pattern that we've been working on. And here I have been playing the long pincer with the with, uh, moves underneath. So let's continue that. Okay, direct invasion here. In these kind of scenarios, it's interesting. Now, for instance, closing corner is always big. Um, and this one is always big. Yeah, I don't know if kicking first makes any sense. I think I'll play here, so it's sort of asking for the shape. But probably yeah, the jump is better, huh? In the corner, because now he can attack the corner here or here. Uh, so, I mean, after finding center here. So maybe I should just jump here. Then we can look at it as, as originally I have jump, and instead of approaching, the, he just play here, which is soft, so I can make extension. Hmm. Oh, you want to play this way. Okay, it's fair. 
then this stone helps you to capture the stones. Absolutely. Do we need to live here? So let's grab a corner. So in the normal Joseki like runs here. In this situation, we might not hurry to do that. We come back to fix the corner first. Maybe even low because he has this stone here. Then anything here is all got there, right? No, but high makes more sense for the right side, I think. So still black and black and run here uh, later, but it's not a hurry, I think. Probably quite balanced right now, I would guess. Oh wow, what is this one? <laughs> I have no idea. Inviting me to play here. That's probably the trick, right? You're trying to trick me. This reminds me of um, in the Chinese opening, they play the high one, you play a touch, and, and then they play this one, and then you still play here. Though. So what is the problem with this move right now? I'm almost inclined to just play there to learn about what is the problem. So of course, if I just answer here or here, like here, for instance, then he will attach, right? And he will be quite solid, but it's not bad for me, I guess. If I answer here or here, it's not bad. Maybe he will play the Kema, right? And try to flatten me. So what's wrong with this one? He's going to play this one or something like that and try to cut me. I cannot see clearly. But actually, even if he does flatten me, it's not so bad for me. I get all profit everywhere, right? Okay, let's play here. Let's play here and learn. So he just attached. I'm the least afraid of this one because it's not super efficient, you know, to make shape this way. Like I could even just peep here. Or Hanes. But Hane, he will probably tiger outside and make shape. So let's just peep here and extend. You cannot really lean on my shape that well. So normally in the variations, white should like lean on the black stone and then pincer this stone to, to grab control of the right side. But now if I, you give me the whole right side as territory, that's very, very big, right? That's a very, very big territory wise. Okay, so maybe he still wants to try to pin to me. He wants to settle the shape first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Copy this move and play this peep. No, I think I need to hunt in any case. Trick, 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 trick. Mm hmm. So probably, usually they will play this star point, and if we ignore all the other moves, then black should take the corner. But in this case, maybe white will be happy to move out. Oh, really like this even? Uh, this variation, I think I might have to play here. Hmm. Because if I play capture, he plays Atari. If I capture, he gets another Atari, it's not such a good fight for me. But if I connect, he gets another Atari too, it's not a good fight for me. So I think this is correct. And then what, he will go out here and let me cut him. And we will fight, but should be okay fight for black. Let's go. Beatty style. Yeah, yeah, he does seem to be trying to <laughs> constantly bait me into stuff. Uh, the combination of these two stones also makes this cut quite attractive, right? Because, yeah, that's why he plays like this. So finally, what does this mean? Should I go to corner? If I go to corner, he cannot escape with a white stone, right? 
or he can uh, he can maybe because after you extend out i cannot attach like this push through i need to play kema but that looks broken so i should capture so let's capture so it's compromise you settle quickly but i also get a very thick shape and you don't get both ataris only the one atari it's kind of fair, I suppose. But now that he's a little bit thicker, he's thinking about pincer probably. But still, if I hunt it here, it's so painful for white. Yeah, so he didn't do that. And now I will play probably here. Maybe here, but this one looks good. So it's almost territory on the right side. There's a really, really big potential for black. I think white's efficiency a bit low. Even he even plays here, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? That's slow. Okay, of course, you are aiming this peep, but I will maybe block, give you two stones. Because you already played many, many stones. Of course, I can answer like here or here or here and here or Nine, here, whatever. Eight, seven, but six, five, four, three, I shall go for profit. So this can make sense if you have also good attack on this group. But now it's so thick, you have nothing, right? So I think it's a bit slow this time. But maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have extended. Maybe I should have pushed first, actually. That could be a better way to play. But I don't know. I think it's okay for black. And we are getting some profit. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to play the ladder variation. I guess he does have decent ladder breaker if I play here. So let's just take some territory. Keep it simple. Am I supposed to go out here? I, I never know. <laughs> I really need to learn that. I, I mean, if I play here, I know it just reverts back to another shape. But I have this feeling that if I play here, it's a bit better. Isn't it? Nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six. Ah. So basic stuff, I don't really know. Okay, but the left side potential is enormous. I mean, clearly he has the Moyo potential of a god, but he doesn't go for the Moyo potential of the gods. Instead, he goes for this submarine style move. Yeah, I feel like attaching here first can be a good idea. But I also feel like I directly should play over here. Nine, eight, Some move. Seven. Yeah, it just felt like a no-brainer for White to add one more move on the left side because then it's almost territory for him as well. It's really hard to invade because of his thickness. So when it goes like this, how do we fight? Do we go down here? That's too slow, maybe. But if we don't, he's going to start Hane and the cut and da-da-da-da-da. And if we just play here, he's going to do the same. Hane, cut, da-da-da-da-da. This is good though. Four, three. <laughs> I think it's good. But yeah, he, he can hunt in or even just hunt in tiger. So I mean, it was big to play here for sure. But I'm not afraid of the cut actually after I have this move because I will eat his stone, right? What will he do? Cut? I don't like the speed at which he's playing now. It makes me uncomfortable. Like it's obvious for him that these are good moves. It's very uncomfortable stuff. <laughs> Can I solid connect? Eight, seven, this is natural, five, right? Let's just play. Four. So he might be saying like the tiger is center, so he has like an easy time to cut me. And even if I add a stone, like Tiger here, he can still Tiger in center and then he can peep and then he can like easily handle the, the situation. And uh, if I go to capture here now, that seems stupid. He would just cut me. 
So I need to add a move. And if I add here, he gets turn. If I add this solid, yeah, he's gonna. Solid could be the way, maybe, potentially. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, my first feeling was Tiger simply because I feel more connected over here. But this could be worse, shape wise, I don't know. Yeah, his style is quite imposing. It's a bit scary to play this guy. Um, can I even do this? <laughs> Again, my shape is a bit sus, eh? So if I play here, at least he will cut in Gotte-ish, but it's very. I have to add a move here, basically. Now it's getting <laughs> very dangerous. So I have the cut on the outside too, right? The ladders is all mine. Eight. If he does that, so... He needs to look for compromise, I think, yeah. This exchange shouldn't happen if he plans to cut me, I think, because I will play here. So now he's planning to probably add a move. Yeah, this one. After which I also need to add a move, otherwise he will, yeah, cut me. Now I am pretty much connected here. So now he needs to live. Ah, maybe I'm supposed to Atari though. Why did I play here too quickly? But I feel like he's not afraid of the co, maybe. Yeah, should have Atari, shouldn't I? It's a bit soft not to Atari. It's I'm, I'm scared, you know, rather than I'm attacking him, I'm acting like I'm the one being attacked. But that's a little bit extreme. I should have probably just Atari'd him. Okay, why, what is this? Why shouldn't I play here? Uh, okay, I don't know. Feels maybe here even Nine, better. Eight, seven, no, this six, one is not five, working. Four, okay, he can, he can play here, but then there's a lot of problems master. outside for him. Isn't it? He has problems on the outside, doesn't he? He just feels broken to me the way he's playing right now. But I couldn't see clearly how to how to take Nine, advantage. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just push and cut here later. Should be big. Okay, he can play here, maybe. I mean, I should have just played here first. It was a crude way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have played a cruder style. Uh-huh. Still, I can push and cut. But connecting here is huge. Push and cut. What will happen, even? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Let's play like this simple way. It's still not bad. We broke the left side. But he's getting thicker in the center. He's going to jump or something like that. Jump like this? So you. Let's go. Oh, this guy is getting on my nerves. <sighs> jump like this. You want to sacrifice if I push and cut. And take this territory. Or what? Or you want to fight? I suppose he can fight, just jump out. But if I survive, then his moyo is gone. Eh? This guy is crazy. Okay. I think this is the peep because I want to attach here, I think. Not this one. It feels like what he wants always is just to, to have a fight. He's like, I want to have a fight. I want to have a fight. I will sacrifice all common sense as long as we can have a fight. Okay, this is uh, center-ish, but uh, maybe we will use some of our center first.
But it's truly a center ish. It's not quite center, right? You connect, I still play here, right? You connect and then I connect. So you become thicker. But I want to have this one in center. I think it is center, right? Yeah, should be. You could make these exchanges first, but. Okay. After that. Do I need to answer? It's very big, but then he hung outside, right? So I should go outside? Or I should just ignore here? Oh, but if he hung outside anyway, it's big. So this is big place. I think. Hopefully, I'm safe. Oh, but there's some variation where he gives this stone, right? I gotta be careful. Maybe I should have played here first. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Always messing up the timings. Okay, maybe just push, push, and uh, run away. But still, I don't want to give him too much territory here. But I should have made this exchange. I feel really bad I didn't make this exchange. Of course, he doesn't need to... Save the two stones, but that was the whole point actually of playing like this. <laughs> okay, I still think it's not too bad for black. Black is bullying the white shape, and it will be hard for white to get that much territory here. I got territory on the bottom, I got territory on the right side, and so on. But yeah, this exchange would have made a huge difference. Mm-hmm. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Let's four. just uh, play something like this, help our shape and threaten a little bit to run the stones. Or at least attack his shape. I really can't believe I didn't play. So this is what I was a bit afraid of, that he's got something like he can give this stone and fight, but he really can't do that. He has to let me connect. That doesn't matter that much. His shape is kind of weird here, right? Ah, uh, really. Really, really, really. Can I maybe peep here? It looks like a nice triple peep or whatever. Uh, the Aji is... Uh, is uh, a lot here, for sure. There's a lot of Aji. But maybe he will wedge if I play here. Nine, then I can push through, cut, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's use one Byoyomi here. Uh, two Byoyomi's left. I can only two stones in that variation, it's not so cool. This diagonal push and cut is very, very tempting. But let's stick to simple way that I was going to do anyway. I always lose a Biomi in order to just play the simple way. <laughs> anyway. So I think I like black. Black has more potential. This cannot be called 100% black's territory. Neither can this. But if he wants to break it, he has to pay a price. So now he doesn't want to break it, he wants to solidify it instead, which is kind of reasonable, but now entering here is big, but I'm alive on both sides, so it's not really hurry. I think push and cut looks um, possible. It's a big idea. Some way to... Uh oh, I see. He wants to push, 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 push. <laughs> that is extremely frustrating, actually. But it doesn't quite work, does it? You push the last time, Hanna, here. You cut, I cut you. Oh, yeah, it does work. Okay, so we need to <laughs> try some. Some stuff. Ah, I should have played here anyway, because there was a way for me to cut. Mm. 
bruh. Yeah, this is just a bad exchange for me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now it looks a bit broken. A little bit. I mean, this was kind of my center earlier, but maybe not now because he will have flower. Eight, seven, six, five. Still, I know I will not be able to save, but I still wanted to run. I don't want to give him the flower. And then I will consider how to make the shape. Order is I should have extended Nine, only. This is eight, bad exchange. Seven, six, I would have had a four, beautiful three, two, squeeze in in if I had just extended here. Then the same. And then I can cut before block. Then the squeeze will be magnificent. This one is also a squeeze, but like a little bit, but not magnificent. He's gonna invade here, maybe? Yeah. I can read your mind. Yeah. So my plan is to give here. This is quite a big territory. Oh, really like this even. Why oh, you don't have ne? That is losing a lot of points for him. Can I go down even? Oh, is to go down is better or honey? The honey is better. So eating in a very inefficient way this way. Oh, no. Okay, like that. Closer and closer now. So we need to think about end game, how to play it. Um, this one is kind of a natural idea. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, but this one also. Four, three, two. Stay here. With too thick, so he can feed people. I can still keep the corner. Yeah. Yeah. All his weaknesses uh, vanished. That's true. I don't know. I um, played a bit soft again. <laughs> yeah. Even center because of this thickness here, he might not Nine, fear eight. my cut. I will cut anyway. We can have a compromise. He doesn't want to compromise. Uh, okay, then we take big profit, I think. Unless he can live in here? You put Ihane, you Atari, I connect. You capture Atari. Oh, maybe you can live in there, but it's dangerous for you outside. Nine, Very eight, dangerous. Seven, six, maybe I can five, cut right away as well. Four, three, two, one. Two Yoyomis left. I suppose he can live. Uh, the only thing I need to worry about a little bit is, okay, he does that, is, um, can I cut now to be extremely annoying? <laughs> That's like being annoying to yourself. I'm not going to do that. But I can play here to simplify the situation. Yeah, it seems good. I mean, I connected everything. That's a very solid profit, and he didn't get a lot in the center. So I can still, the corner depends a lot how he's going to jump here is huge. A huge, huge, huge. But also he didn't play here yet, so I can block here is very huge as well. Nine. And he can play this Atari, but I don't care about it, do I? Right, now I think block is big or corner is big. Block is so big, though. It's like double center ish, right? Eight, seven, 
seven. Six. Uh, yeah, let's play here. It's not my center, but it's so big, so big. It's not really his center either. But now I will still keep this corner part of it. I think Black's just leading a lot. Now uh, it's not so easy for him to to win. But yeah, I played a bit too strange. Uh, here was a mistake. I mean, I didn't. I forgot that he can push here. But even then, I should have extended, not handed. Then I can squeeze him and get more profit. Yeah, so this capture means that he can go down here. So to avoid, we should play probably here or here. Yeah, I guess this is correct. Ah, uh, yeah, he wants to close here. I could have uh, maybe broken in and sent... Uh, he wants to make the tiger's mouth. Even if I play here, he will make tiger's mouth. Can I play here to avoid his tiger's mouth? But that looks dangerous, yeah. Okay, let's give him these territories. That's fair. We cannot expect ah like this. You want to cut me now? Oh, you are evil. You are so evil. But I will have two eyes if you do that. So it doesn't matter the cut. I think he should have just tigered here and kept more territory. Now he still needs to play here probably. But then he just gave me a stone for nothing. Yeah, he could have. Oh, this move. Yeah, but this move, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what does it mean? What does this mean, man? Can I play here? You're gonna Atari me. Uh, can he jump here? If he Atari me, I can play Empty Triangle, right? I'm still connected. In a funny way. So he didn't get to keep these points. <sighs> G14K15. Oh, he resigns. But today is quite smooth, huh? Win a lot of games. How many we win four in a row? The fighting is not as crappy as has been in the previous weeks. I was thinking about it why I had a big loose streak. I also remember I had a I was rehabbing my really bad lower lower back, like a disc, bulging disc. I think it was giving me bad sleep and like grumpiness and stuff. Now it's pretty much healed. I feel more alive, you know. Also, when you have a rehabilitation, then you like uh, you don't exercise as much. So when you don't exercise, you also lose energy. So today I feel much better. Yeah, played okay today. But this game, do I need to review maybe? Hmm. I think maybe. Yeah, I think I'll review this. Let's review it because there were so many question marks for me. Dun 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 Let's save it. So we kind of broke the losing streak. That's good. Feels happy. I mean, okay, we broke the losing streak previously, but this is like the opposite. What is that? Win streak. That's what it's called. <laughs> Let's see the performance report of this game.
Mm. Yeah, it looks like Black took a lead quite early. I felt uh, good most of the game, but I was a bit unsure how to play. Yeah, the center, but also in the lower left, really when he diagonals, I need to I need to learn that shape because it's so common. Oh, looks like I played pretty well according to the graph here. Yeah. Uh made some big score problem though, like yeah, towards the end. But that might have been the cut up there or something. Ah, uh, so that's worth that's worth to study this part here. Definitely needs to study that part. Okay, let's go. Performance report. Uh-huh. Accuracy, not so bad. Getting close to 80. AI best move match, almost 80% is not bad, huh? 79%. 82 for the top five. So I had one mistake that was bigger than six points. So there is something. There was something that happened towards the end. Opening was not bad. What? How does this mean? It makes sense. Oh, I'm the only one who got to play one end game move. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take a look. So yeah, here I was wondering if it's best to play here or here, but this was not bad apparently. Nothing wrong. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, closing here, nothing wrong either. Oh yeah, this trick move. Of course we need to review the trick move. So let's see what the trick is. If we go for the elephant's eye, he's going to fly. That's what I thought as well. And the problem is this kind of center for white. And if you, if you answer... Yeah, he's going to attack the two stones as a whole. It's going to be bad for black. Mm, so it means that at this moment, black might want to fight. Then white can connect, black goes down, and the white can turn here. Yeah, And the white can turn around and get the bottom area. Mm. So that's the trick. That's the trick part. But the move itself is kind of minus for white. Is kind of on the edge. I think it's a little bit too bad to be used. I mean, we know that I like to play moves that aren't blue, but there are green. But this one is like yellowish, right? Okay. So anyway, the answer in the game, not bad. He attached was wrong. I thought so. I thought he should shoulder hit here. Yeah, I thought so. Attaching. This people's good. Attach here is good. Peeps. Okay, nothing wrong. Yes, so I did say after I played here that I realized maybe it's better to push here, actually. So pushing here is much, much stronger. Yeah, because if he invade, then even his corner, not a lie yet, can be sealed in here if he tries to ignore. This is very, very painful for white. Yeah. So push would have been a good idea. And if white moves out, then we already have a good position on the right side. We don't need to add a move there. But if we are to add one, we will add like this. Try to get a huge move. Someone invites you to play. That would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, after that, I play here a little bit minus, so it's kind of even. But then this was also bad. That's why I thought it's too slow. Very too slow. Yeah, so this is correct. Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling. I just couldn't. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, this was a big minus. It's the it's the wrong place. You should play the left side. I mean, this is normal. Okay, AI also said you can uh, ask a question first and then play the left side. But this is normal. You have you have two walls. You play in the middle of the two walls and you make it uh, almost territory. Right? It's a really efficient moyo for white. Very efficient. The KMI is a weird one. Yeah, I wanted to attach, but then I tried to play the here. It's also okay. Greenish. Ah, yes, of course. We can Hana here first. Then we Tenuki. That makes everything different because let's think about it. If he plays here now, when you've made the Hana exchange, 
It cannot connect easily, right? This is your antenna, right? And if he goes here, still you can use that one. So that is why this Hane is a good idea. Yeah, I often forget about that one. I always think about Lee, like going down or playing Tenuki. I very rarely I think about this exchange and then Tenuki. But it's a very good exchange, yeah, in this scenario. Oh, that's true. Okay, so the game here. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about this move first after his pin serve. Should have played here B3. It was my instinct. Ah, should have stuck with it. This one is big move, but it's not as good as here. This is more more related to thickness. So I should have done that. Yeah. Immediately he made shape. Hello to who, to Jake. Nice to see you here. Yeah. And here I wasn't sure, but Tiger was okay. Yeah. This white shape turned a little bit broken. So this wasn't a mistake after all. Not too soft. Yeah. Seems good move. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing wrong here either. Yeah. I wanted to push and cut. But I'm afraid that if I do, somehow he's going to find the profit and I'm not going to get to kill him. So I went to co connect instead. And he should jump here. That's what I thought. But he jumped here is crazy. I get to push and cut again. Okay, this part we don't need to watch. But there is a part where I drop a lot of points over here. Oh, uh, yeah, because I, I knew I made a mistake here. Look, this cut is not wrong. Even honey is not wrong. But I think I shouldn't have ex connected. But I thought I can do this way. Look, I'll show you what I was thinking about. And then cut. This is the squeeze I was thinking about. So in this variation, I think, you know, I thought this is not so bad for black. But actually, it's not so good. <laughs> so... Hanne was correct, but I should have attarded probably when he plays here. Oh, now I should just ignore and leave because I have so many centers around here. I can start fighting over here. Yeah, this is not working the same way now. Because of my center to play here. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Okay, yeah, it's too soft here. Okay, he's still winning a lot after that. But this was also a big mistake, but still winning. And finally, no problems, and we win. All right, yeah. Today was a good good day for playing Go. Sunday morning slash lunchtime. We got to win four in a row. And <laughs> positive asked if I want to do. Life and death battle. Uh, I do need to have lunch. It's almost one o'clock. We can do one at uh, some higher level, like a two dan or something. <laughs> we can do that. We can do one. Um, yeah, if you want. Nah, <laughs> you're good. You don't want to do higher levels. You just want to do like the six Q one where you can like click, 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 click. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, this time I won't do battles. I need to have lunch. Yeah, my sugar, blood sugar is going to drop to the floor otherwise. So anyway, I appreciate everybody's watching. It was a good uh, win, win streak for today. And um, yeah, uh, you can catch the review of this stream on YouTube as usual. And uh, I might see you before I go to Dubrovnik. I might stream while we're in Dubrovnik somehow. Uh, or uh, we will see. Okay. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Peace out.